Welcome back, everybody. Two more. Uh, 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 Dangan Rumper. Dangan Rumper is here. Paddy is also more comfortable. I moved my jacket. I knew she'd sit on my jacket. She loves sitting on my jacket. You're a kid now. You're an alter ego now. You're a kid. You're an alter ego. You're dead now. Rated PG. <laughs> 10 and up. <gasps> All right. I got to get some new songs going. All right. So she's about to break the news. Her answer was clear, concise, and direct. Chiro is dead. Mondo killed him. She's totes dead, bro. Okay, then. I see. To be honest, I knew all along. I knew the chances that Master would survive the situation were very low. So, I was prepared for this moment. <laughs> well, somehow I feel like... sorry for her. Um... I can't even imagine how it must feel to lose your other self. <laughs> it is a simple computer program. It does not have feelings. Uh... Are you sure about that? Shall we go? Anyway. That's enough for today. If we linger here too long, the mastermind will start to suspect something. They're not. They're just all having like a little party in the in the dressing room, and then Kyoko typed my one typed one last sentence. I'll come back later. Yes, please do. It's a promise, okay? Bye bye. But yeah, I seemed totally different from when we'd first arrived. He seemed upbeat. Was it just because he was following in programming, or could it he have actually been worried about us? Could it be? Huh. What's wrong, Hero? You know? Oh, nothing here. Yeah. I was just wondering if we might be able to, like, get this laptop online. And we could, like, call for help from the outside. Hmm. But it's just a dressing room. I don't think you can get online from here. Well? Well, if we take it out of here and then find someone that does have online access. <laughs> That's way too dangerous. The mastermind would find out in no time. Uh, um... Oh, yeah, true. Indeed. It's not time for taking needless risks. For now, I'll monitor the progress of the file analysis. I'm confident we'll uncover some kind of clue once it's finished. Hmm. It feels like he detailed more than anything else, but uh, I suppose it can't be helped. Of course. Well, for now, all we can do is wait for Alter Ego to finish his work. What we should do is have Sakura guard the laptop night and day, because she's an unstoppable force. You know? Uh, so should we get going? It's true. Indeed. Goodbye. We'll be back. I promise. Oh, creepy. Come on, Hifumi, let's go. Bye. Okay. Bye. And we all left the dressing room. As soon as we were out in the hall, Hina let out a joyful shout. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? I ended up doing something totally awesome, right? And as if he'd been waiting for his cue... Uh, -da. Hina has gained enough experience to level up. What's the matter? So, what was this awesome something? Monokuma. These guys all seem in remarkably good spirits. Did something happen? No, nothing in particular. Oh, keeping secrets, no fair. I demand an exclusive interview. Denied. Denied. <laughs> denied. Super denied. Yeah, just because you demand something doesn't mean we have to do it. Uh, do it? You mean like, do it, do it? W what do you mean, do it, do it? Yes, Ew, gross, you said do it. Just like what? You said it first. <laughs> you were just talking about going to the bathhouse. We have not had a chance to relax in some time. Huh? Huh? <sighs> but unfortunately, the bathhouse is not divided into men and women sections. <laughs> So we decided to do rock, paper, scissors to decide which group would go first. He know won the match for us, and that is why we are all so pleased. Huh? Y yeah, that's right. Man, she's a good liar. Speaking of which... Okay, boys, why don't you head on back to the dining hall or something? We're gonna take a nice long bath. Hey, come on. Ah, jeez, what are you gonna do, right? We, like, lost fair and square. <laughs> well, ladies, shall we go? Celeste didn't hesitate coming up with the ruse. And her poker face didn't even flinch. So she and the other girls headed back into the dressing room. Oh. Um. Damnation! Oh, nuts and damn it, we totally lost. 
Another day without getting to take my very first bath here. Ew. How many days has it been? Uh, um. Yeah. Yeah, but tomorrow for sure, you know, definitely get the bathroom tomorrow. Okay, so should we head back to the dining hall for now? Hey. Hold on! Something strange here, very strange. Strange? What do you mean? <sighs> What's strange is this is the perfect chance for you to sneak a peek. Huh? <laughs> God, he is like a little horny 12 year old, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's. You're absolutely right! Uh, I thought you were all about the 2D. <laughs> you know, if you need to shut up, sit down, and listen to what I have to say. An opportunity like this doesn't come along very often. It's the ideal setting of a man's fantasy. I was forced to ask myself, should I sneak into the bathhouse like Monokuma said, or just go quietly back to the dining hall? Okay, let's go! With the man's fantasy burning in my chest, I decided I'd... <laughs> With the man's fantasy burning in my chest, I decided to head back to the bathhouse. Uh -huh. What? Have fun in your man's fantasy. Have a smashing good time. What are you doing, Makoto? We opened the door to the dressing room, silent as death, and peeked inside. It looked like the girls had already finished changing and gone into the bathhouse. This is all started as a lie, but apparently they decided to go in for real. Making sure it was empty, we quietly made our way into the dressing room. The forbidden land. What the fuck is happening? Why is our character turned into some what? fucking perv? So they really are taking a bath. Is that why Celeste meant about lying convincingly? Mm. Mr. Hanakuma, please refrain from pointless whispering. We're deep in enemy territory here. <laughs> Just up ahead is the bathhouse, and there awaits a, da a great dazzling passion. Ah, uh, what is going on? Japan. 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 Come on, Japan. Japan. Better than that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nagi, you're on point. For serious. Careful, don't get caught. If Ogre finds us, we'll be meeting over Hades in no time. I placed my hand on the door leading into the bathhouse. I opened it gently, inch by inch. I maneuvered my hand like a master craftsman to avoid making even the slightest sound. A little further, a little further, and then, on the other side of the thick rising steam, I saw. <laughs> oh my god, she's so muscly! That was a lot of boob and, that was a lot of butt and side boob going on there then. <laughs> I'm not sure how to put it, but... I always feel refreshed after a job well done. I just find, I feel dirty. I feel like all these characters are now tainted forever. Our, ma our main character who was supposed to be like this innocent dude is, is just a fucking perv. A 3D body isn't body is so bad in its nude state, I suppose. Could it be? But still, I can't believe it, like for serious. Ogre's a girl? Was this really okay? No! It wasn't okay at all! Well, I looked, too, so I guess I'm gonna have to say yes. Meanwhile, we heard the buzzing of busy voices growing louder. The girls had finished their baths and joined us in the dining hall. You got it! Ah, oh, man, what a nice bath! This is fine. Getting a chance to stretch out and relax after all this time is a true pleasure. Indeed. Indeed. Of course. Normally, after a long bath, <clears throat> I like to make myself a nice protein coffee. Stop, stop drinking the protein coffee. Oh, sorry, no time for that. So in the end. That's what I figured. Uh-huh. You were just saying in the bath, how it's about time for you to get up to something. Because... After seeing how happy we were, an evil little monster like you would never let that last for long. Oh, you're all so terrible to me. Oh, everybody's so cold and mean, even after I got... Presents for you all. Presents? Oh, have I got your attention? 
Let's head to the gym where your presence awaits. No questions, no dilly-dallying. Gotta move on and everything will become clear. So that was like a bonus scene then, isn't it? Okay. So, so that you get that scene if you happen to randomly get man's fantasy. <laughs> oh, just my fucking luck. What is it? Why are you scheming this time? He's probably going to repeat the same thing again. Providing us with a motive to get things moving. Huh? Again? I don't want to. I don't want to do this anymore. <sighs> Me either. I'm like totally traumatized. However, it's okay. We have Alter Ego. I'm sure we'll find something that'll help us. So for now, correct. we have to just endure it. Come what may. To be fair, yeah, isn't like the the psychic guy like older than the rest of us? How young are they supposed to be? <laughs> that guy is being a real. That guy was stupid creep. With heavy feet, we made our way to the gym. When we arrived, there was already someone waiting for us. What? We kept waiting by the likes of you. Rest assured, if we had access to firearms, you'd all, you'd all be dead. Jesus Christ, Togami. But yeah, Kuya, did you get here early? Did you forget how to walk? Is that why you're late? It's simple, right foot, left foot, right foot. <laughs> <laughs> Has the same as always, I see. Here on the other hand. Oh, she's back. What the heck? Oh, she's back to like dweeby down herself, huh? Hmm. It would sound like a sneeze and she was back to her old self. <laughs> now she goes from manic to depressive. Whenever she sneezes, seems kind of late to add that into the mix. <laughs> what the heck? Why, why does everyone keep, keep making fun of me? I hope you will win, win the lottery and get hit by a bus. So when you want to say something mean, then you can talk, huh? Well, anyway, it looks like everyone's here. So then. Which means... There we go. Dang, I has more fan service in general. Oh, Jesus Christ, why? <laughs> it looks like it looks like everyone's here. So then, let's get started. What? Come in, come in and out. C come on out with it. What kind of motive have you prepared for us this time? However, whatever you subject us to, we will not break. Okay. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're not gonna lose to you ever again. <laughs> you don't have to get defensive. Calm down. I've decided to change things up a bit this time. Up till now, I've been using the whoosh of the north wind to get you all moving. But sometimes you gotta use the, the sun to light a fire under somebody's butt. <laughs> without further so without further ado, I oh, never give mind. You He's talking. That's okay. This. What is it? Ten million dollars. <laughs> what? prepared this graduation present for whichever lucky student makes it out of here alive. What do you think? It's ten million bucks. Ten million smackaroos. <laughs> it's Jenga. No. It's like totally wow, wow, wow. Am I right? So that's the motive you prepared, is it? Ten million dollars is nearly enough. <laughs> what? It's true. When it comes to motives, money certainly is the gold standard, so to speak. Whether it's in a mystery novel or the real world. Mm. But, but what there's no way we'd kill each other for money. Of course. She's right. You simply can't purchase a person's life. Uh, um... You can say ten million or however much. I don't give a crap. For serious. Yeah, they're all right. Whether it's 10 million or any other amount of money. No, not even just money. From now on, no matter what you do, we won't kill our friends. <laughs> Come on, stop trying to act tough. The most important thing is to live a pure and moral communal life. Monokuma disappeared, leaving his words on stage along with a massive sum of money. Um... Uh, there's nothing to worry about, right? Nobody would kill a friend for money, right? 
you quickly forgotten the lesson from last time? You can't judge others by your own standard. Yeah, the, there might be someone here who's having money problems. Recently, I've earned over one million dollars from my gambling effort. My life is complete. Uh, Fumi, what about you? I'm a super popular content creator. I'm an influencer. I don't. I have to put hashtag ad every time I get given a free game. I don't have any problem making enough to buy my comics and DVDs. Uh, then. Just stop pressing others about their personal finances is ugly. Uh, uh, ugly? <laughs> Don't worry, either way, whatever's gonna happen will happen without warning. This is the nature of this game. Probably wouldn't do it because I'm not confident in my murder skills. <laughs> You forget Tia. Yeah, you you kill someone and then you have to. The, the the goal is like like you get off a ten million, but you have to kill someone for it. But you don't only have to kill them; you have to get away with it, and convince everyone that you didn't do it. So, it's a lot harder than it seems. Ding dong, big. Although killing someone is probably hard anyway. In a school announcement, it is now 10 p.m. Oh, yeah. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the yeah, it's technically like six murders for 10 million, Nick. Yeah, I guess so. Because you have to murder one person and then all the rest of the people as well. Because if, if they don't get it right, then they die as well. Is that time? It's that time already, huh? Hey. Before we separate, let me remind you. Starting tonight, I'll be leaving my room door open to make sure nothing happens to alter ego. But because my door is open, don't assume that will make me an easy target. Because. Or the predator may suddenly find itself the prey. Dude, she is ballsy. She's like, yo, just to remind you all, my door's open, so come at me, I'll beat the shit out of you. Her voice was calm and composed. But it was clear she meant what she said. You know? Okay, okay, let's everyone uh, head back to our rooms. How about that? Kyoko's great. She might be like a pretty like dope, boring character uh, as far as like out of the group, but I do love how fucking confident she is in herself. Hmm. How was that? Pretty good, right, Taki? Dude, Tack, I want I want all Taka back. Hmm. Right, right, you know. As soon as I was in back in my room, I crawled into bed. Money, there's no way that's gonna get anyone to kill anyone else. I told myself that, but deep in my heart, I was still troubled. After all, I thought the same thing last time about having our secrets revealed. Even if the reason was for it seems completely nonsensical, a murder can still happen. That's a lesson we learned. But this time, this time is different. I'm sure of it. Because of the program Chihiro left behind, Alter Ego, we finally have some small hope to grasp onto. <laughs> I like to think she's flirting. Hey, my door's open. You wanna come in? I'll murder you. She's a she's a she's a black widow. She'll she'll bang you and then kill you afterwards. Bing, 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 bing. Kind of like that the tank is catatonic as it makes the stoner a real person. That is a good point, actually. The stoner has been a kind of a background character until now. Little, little kids have it so easy because they can put little in front of their <laughs> little in front of their name, and right off the bat, everyone thinks they're cute. Well, fine then. I want everyone to start calling me little <laughs> little Monokuma. See, just by adding that, my cuteness goes up at least 10%, right? 
Yeah, the world doesn't have nearly enough littles. Oh god, more, more littles would lead to the salvation of the world. Just imagine little arsonist, little war criminal, little destruction of the environment. Little arsonist. Oh, just a little arsonist. Little, little hill and run, little death tax, little great depression. What's up, Lil B? <laughs> Lil B. Not that I ever want children, but if I ever accidentally had children, I'd have to. They, they would, their nickname would most definitely be Lil B. Lil B on the YouTube. Little terrorist attack. <laughs> little serial killer. Oh, this is lovely. Our dreams are expanding. Ding, ding. This is a weird one. This, yeah, this seems like it was just weirdly translated. I noticed how like his room bare, our uh, dude's room is compared to everyone else's. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> it is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Will. Will murder. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Well, then I guess I should head to the dining hall. Leave the area? Hell yes. Good morning, Sakura. Did you just wake up? Yeah. Hmm. Waking up for breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. A big meal after working up a sweat is divine. Did she just not sleep? She just worked out constantly? Help. For the what? Oh. See Patty for me. See Patty for me. When? Little <laughs> <laughs> Dabby. I gave Dabby my hey, cold. Makoto. Hey, morning, Makoto. Good morning. You're uh, kind of sweaty. Have you been exercising? Right. Yep, me and Sakura were doing our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't break out nighttime, promise. I just ran around my room till it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I can keep up with you and Sakura. Huh? Huh, seriously? Uh. Okay, then we can do something in the rec room. I'm not good at much, but I do know how to play a fellow. <laughs> I'm not very good. Why am I doing this voice for her? I'm not very good at either, though. So, you know, don't like to think what I'm playing. So, you know, whatever. Ah, well, hello. Ah, good morning. Morning. <laughs> Actually, it's a great morning. A morning that has been blessed my entire future. Really? It feels like any other morning to me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can't tell, but my soul is positively overflowing with strawberries today. <laughs> well, I'm off. That was bizarre. I mean, even for him. <laughs> All right, his his, uh, his soul is overflowing with strawberries. Could it be? So the people here today, are the same as yesterday, just as seven. Yaku and Tayuka are last cause, but... Looks like Taka's decided to stop coming for good, too. It's just like he's given up. <laughs> the people that wound as tight as he is, when you snap, you snap hard. I wish there was some way, I wish there was some way to make him better. Hmm. On another topic, Kyoko, did everything go alright last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Correct. I went and checked out the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate. It's related to this case, so I suppose I should be blunt. Anyway. I have to make a new rule. 
Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Someone going in or out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention for the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Wow. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Uh, uh, no, it's just like you said. We all need to be very careful. <laughs> oh god, he's like super attracted to to two to two D two D man waifu. Huh? Husband, hus husbando, husbando. It's two D husbando. That's my that's my favorite term. Whatever. Let's hurry up and eat. We don't have the time to stand around flapping our lips. Jeez, what? What? what are you talking? Like, pissed off drill sergeant for all of a sudden? Jeez. Whoa. Oh my god, jeez. Scaring me. Husbandu. We ate breakfast in a rush and then headed back to our rooms. Free time. It's time for free time. What should I do today? Free time. It's time to meet all the people. Free time. <laughs> Tell what I should do first. Yeah, uh, let's go grab some more, uh, some more things to give to people. Husbandos are raining down from the sky. Husbandos are coming, they're gonna come in your eye. Who was that? I don't know what that was. Oh, that was it. That wasn't a new one. I think that's. Really gross. That was just do. I'm sorry. What was that one? That was a guy grabbing a girl's boobs. Oh, it was a hand bra. That's pretty weird. It's just pretty funny. <laughs> Knowing it's not a dude grabbing that, that's a little less creepy. That would actually be quite funny if you were a hand bra. Oh, it's a Monokuma t shirt, was it? Uh, I know one of those loincloths. I want to Google Hambra, see if they have any for real, but I'm scared to. I think you'll be able to find some good Hambras. <laughs> Katana. Ooh. I think I think as long as we're below fifty percent chance of getting a repeat, we're good. We gotta stay below that fifty percent line. <laughs> 
What is rainbow hipster shit on a bagel? Uh, so, uh, so, uh, the man with the golden laser gun. I'm pretty lucky right now. Mostly I don't want to sit here and use a single coin every time because yeah, it's boring. <laughs> Capo noodles. Capo noodles coming at you. Is a it was like a cat collar or something like that? Whoa, that's like a collection of heads. Oh, and the game just closed. Man, this game really likes cl crashing, doesn't it? Well, that was a waste of time. I mean, I've saved it all today, no. Nope, I haven't saved it all today. Oh, joy. Oh, joy. God, this fucking game. This fucking game. That's right, we'll just speed for all this then. Oh god, I have to save like constantly in this fucking game now. Why does this game crash so much? It shouldn't take too long, actually. It took us an hour and a bit. an hour and a half to get through all before. Let's see how long it takes us this time. <laughs> if we're going full speed. How many crashes is that? It's crashed twice on stream, but it also crashed before when not when I wasn't streaming it and I was trying to catch up on something. It's crashed three times, which is more than, you know, I can say um, an average game I play crashes. So. Fuck, I've got to do this whole shitty fucking exploration thing again, don't I? Ugh. I 
I'm not gonna spend those coins again. Fuck that. I'll just spend them another time. There's a run button. Damn. Wait, I fucking did, I did it again. I keep doing that. Did that last time as well. Yeah, that the no, the last time the the, the the first time it crashed was right at the end of the first trial. Oh, so it's classrooms, okay. It always crashes the most annoying times. I'm so used to auto saves. Like this, it feels weird that this game doesn't auto save. Camera in the picture to continue? Okay, cool. Do that as well, just in case. Pretty amazingly fast how how it goes by when you just amazing how fast it goes by when you just skip all the tags. Bumps into trial two. Um, uh, uh, not much actually. Well, just this. That's right, that. I got to go for the stupid. Pervy cutscene again. I guess we get to all see a bunch of those in their uh, side boobs and butts and all. But yeah, Chiro programmed his personality into an AI program that's hidden on a laptop inside of the changing rooms to the bathhouse. Side boobs and butts? What about side butts? There's a couple of side butts. There's a, I don't know whose butt it was. It was a very well-defined butt in a towel, one of them. It, like stood out beyond it all to me. Sakura side boob. Muscly side boob. Muscle boob. Masoob.
It's the the speed and all the things happening is hilarious. We don't have any hand bras. No. Just again, we had best on the boot. Oh, the cosplayer. Pack extends into her boobs. Her boobs are simply an extension of her her eight pack. So, all right, what's after this? There's the bath scene, and then just, so we go up to free time. You have to do this and examine this. Uh, we file the Riga, they talk about the Alter Riga, they talk about AI. The voice comes alive, we see the face, we're like, oh my god, it's Chira, they all think it's a ghost, but he doesn't think it's a ghost, and then she's like, hey, what's up, Alter Ego, I'm Alter Ego, and she's like, I'm muscly, give me some protein coffee, he's like, I love you, she's like, I don't give a shit about you, she's been smart, he just wants to bang the computer, stick his dick in the HDMI port, she's like, don't touch me, senpai, yo, by the way, what happened to my, like, master, and then she's like, yo, he's dead, she hasn't said that yet, and she will. Um, there you go, and now she's like, yo, your master's dead, she's like, yo, I'm sad now, and he's like, yo, I feel bad for you, let me stick my dick in the HDMI port, she's like, I'll cut your dick off if you stick it in the HDMI port, she's like, I don't give a shit, I'm like, where's the protein coffee, yeah, he wants, he, he, only, he only goes to the HDMI ports, and then he's like, yo, what's up, what are you guys talking about, and then they're like, nothing, yo, we want to bet, let's go get our nude on in the bathhouse, and then Monokuma's like, hey, guess what, Now's the perfect time for you to be a creep and check them out while they're in the bathtub. What? And then they all like, should we do this? And then you click on this and you get a nice little fan service picture. Here we go. But, look at that butt, that's ridiculous. And thingies flying in the sky. There's so much muscles. And everyone comes in, and then he's like, hey, come on. He, then, yeah, then everyone comes in, and then they're like, yo, Monokuma's like, hey, guess what? There's lots of bleeding through the towels here. And then it's like, hey, Monokuma's like, hey, come on over to the gym. And then uh, Rich Boy tells us he's going to shoot us <laughs> if we're late again or something like that. Uh, which is pretty weird. And then Monokuma's was like, hey, guess what? I got money for you. Here's um, $10 million. No, and they're like, yo, we ain't going to kill for $10 million. Here's ten he goes, he go he's like, this is him saying this is $10 million. I love the <laughs> flicking between all their faces. It makes me laugh. Go in, Why are you wearing that? Well, it breaks down the way. It's probably a good idea. Do we actually have to drive to with it? Do you have to drive to with it? Oh boy. Button. That'd be able to drive a car that failed its MOT to Swansea to get it traded in for a new car now. <laughs> I 
That, I reckon that car is gonna fucking crash. It's gonna crash, not crash, sorry. It's gonna break down, not crash. I don't want to crash. They part X the car and it has to go there. <laughs> and it just has to get it there, basically. It's probably gonna just break down when he leaves this house, honestly. That car does not work. He's trading it in because they bought a new car, but they like exchanged this car for it, so they got to get it there. All right, here we go. We're back to where we were. That didn't take too long, right? All right. Let's see what we got then. Uh, presents. Flotation donut. We should totally give that to, um, what's her face? Uh, donut loving lady. She loves donuts. We know she loves donuts. We're going to get in good with the donut lady. Each and every person has to do their job. The cooperation of each player is true teamwork. You got it. It's a quote from the famous rugby player Yuji Matsuo. We gotta do the same thing, cooperate so we can survive. Hmm, should I hang up with Hina? Yeah, let's spend some time with Hina. Yeah. You wanna go for a run to release some of the stress? Hina and I went for a light run through the school. I died <laughs> on the way back. Hina and I grew a little closer today. Yeah, let's give her a present. We're gonna give her a flotation donut. She loves them flotation donuts. <laughs> How thoughtful. This is why I like you, Makoto. Uh, I mean, not like, like, I like. <laughs> I mean, not like, 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 not like that kind of like. Barker. Seeing Hina so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Oh man, oh man. What's up? Okay. Getting totally fired up. What? How come? How come doesn't matter? Now I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. Uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. That's right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Huh? Were you so... Were you making fun of me? No, no. I'm just impressed. Really? I used to know this one guy. He's always like, Hina, you're such a super... Super spaz? Wow. Super spaz? Yeah. Yeah, he's like... See me wearing shorts in winter, and he'd say stuff like that. Mm -hmm. If you lose the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? Getting sick is for the week. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of the training. Training, huh? Mm -hmm. So, like, are you the type who gets sick easily? Actually, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay. Okay, I got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah! Actually, I do it myself every morning. You strip down to your waist and then take a dry towel and start rubbing your, down your bare skin. I call it... I call it... Um... Huh? What do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Let's take a shot at this. Uh, towel treatment? Is it something like towel treatment as opposed to bamboo breakdown or yoga yeah you know yoga is where you rub yourself with a towel right you got it. oh my god yeah that's it i love going out in my apartment balcony st stripping down feeling the world on my skin oh so much fan service god it feels so amazing i never let a morning pass without getting in a good rub down wait so you went out on your balcony and stripped down and you were okay with that <laughs> we should give it a try if you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. I hate to see you catch a cold or something. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Yeah, I don't know what I expected from the boob character, to be fair. After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. Oh 
Ding dong. That huh? sounds like someone's here. All right, who's here? It's attacker? Is it true? Can I r really see your hero? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? He, he's still alive? No, not quite. Let me see. I, I want to, I want to talk to him. It's attacker. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego, but even so, I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? <laughs> I mean, might as well, sure. What can, what's the worst that can happen? Just a second. Where are you going, huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around too much, given his current condition. Kiko looked at Taka standing behind me. Y yeah, I know that. But I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could uh, head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Well, then I guess that's okay. But I saw a brief flicker of doubt. Maybe it was just my imagination. Just say, like, yo, I'm taking him there because I feel like it will help him break out of his funk. Okay, so there's a laptop inside the locker, understand? And on the laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. How do, how do I... How do I talk to him? Oh, um... Well, you just tell me what you want to say and I'll type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And since I couldn't stop him, do you hate me? Oh dear, Taka. It was clear he was forcing himself to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Please. Uh, okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them. And then... Do you hold yourself responsible? But if Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please live your life for the both of us. It's impossible for me now, but you can still survive and escape, all of you. Hitaka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. Hey. The one asking these questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data, that's the only conclusion I can come to. Um. Master told me how close, how close Taka and Mondo had become. That must be why he feels responsible. The scene, the screen suddenly went dark. And what appeared next was... Whoa, what? You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of that responsibility, are you? Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Hmm. That's... So. I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at a simulation using the data about Mondo that the Master had given me. If I figured Taka was depressed, that's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. Yo. So you're just gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? This is just creepy. Just take your time and get all depressed? Take the time to indulge your regrets? You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with a kind of condescending tone? <laughs> <laughs> Taka? Oh, what the hell was that? <laughs> Did he just power up to Super Saiyan levels? It's time to sink in. Is that a good idea to show someone a simulation of their dead friend? Just reminds me of the Rick and Moy thing with the, the, goop, the goop children. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone-dry sponge. Huh? Those words, deep within my heart, they're inside of me. Oh my god, he has gone Super Saiyan. His hair's white now. And his eyebrows are red? Taka? Who the fudge is Taka? Your eyes. What? Hey, don't worry about it. Guess I killed us kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. In your voice? Yeah. I'm a new me. Phew, I'm totally stuffed with fighting spirit now, you dumb butt. Okay, Taka, just calm down. What? I am calm. And don't call me Taka. That's, that's not my name anymore. I'm me. I am me. 
Tackett let out a bone chilling howl and ran out of the room. Hey, Tackett, hold on! You dick. And I took off after him. But someone stood in my way. As if, ta as if tagging Tacker out, she walked briskly into the dressing room. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? K Kyoko? Oh, uh, no, see, this is just... Enough already. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. S sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Okay. <laughs> Alright, it's gonna help, but it turned out I, I somehow managed to make him super-powered. Uh, Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. That would be the end of my free time for now then. But still, what was with Taka's sudden freak out? I'm seriously worried about him. Ding dong, bing bong. Yeah, we done fucked up. We, we unleashed some sort of Taka not- <laughs> Taka Mondo. Scolded by the waifu. Yeah, 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 It's nighttime already. I guess I have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. For now, time for sleep. As long as he doesn't go murder anyone. You wanna, you wanna know why I hate video games? You might not believe this, but I had a best friend once. Actually, he was my only friend, but unlike me, he has all kinds of friends. So me and him were at this house one day, when a big group of guys showed up to hang out. Then they just brought the latest big budget video game. They sat there lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. But not me. I just sat there watching. That's right. I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. Just by watching, I was able to nail down all the best strategies. Even though I never actually played it. And I don't plan on ever playing it in the future either. Okay, that just sounds like chat. <laughs> he just described a Twitch chat. Waifu knows waifu. Waifu, I like that. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. So who's top tier husbando in this then? Over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Sounds like Chad. No, no. Sounds like chat. It <laughs> sounds exactly. Like, yeah, sounds like sounds like Chad. All right, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall. I need to tell everyone what happened with Taki yesterday. Quickly. He's gone Super Saiyan. Saving every single day <laughs> because I don't trust the game anymore. Yo, I've been waiting. Oh, are you the only one here? Where's everyone else? Hmm. We went on ahead. Went on ahead to where? Hey, we can't on. talk about it later. <laughs> we can talk about it later. For now, let's go take a bath. Bath? What? Oh, they're all here. Yeah, someone help! Fumi, what's going on? Lakoto, save me. I've never asked you for anything, but I'm asking now. What happened? Uh, she's trying to kill me. Hifumi pointed at. Oh god. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? I never said I was gonna kill him. I simply asked him a question. I'd like to know why he made the same mistake twice. The same mistake? What did he do? So... He snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and accessed Alter Ego without permission. Oh god, he's being weird, isn't he? And when I caught him last night. He was hugging the laptop and breathing strangely. <laughs> My ultimate husbando. Be a key is the husbando. <laughs> no, I, I, it's gotta be, it's gotta be a uh, Hifumi, right? Oh, what are you doing? I tried to plug in his USB. I finally made myself clear yesterday, but since being subtle didn't work. To me. I suppose I have to clarify, my, clarify myself further. Huh? 
Please don't kill me. Wrong. I'm not gonna kill you. Merely instruct you. How very sad. <laughs> I just want to hear him explain himself. Uh, Fumi, could you tell me? What, uh, sorry, that's me. Mm, uh, could you tell me what happened? Well, the, the hugging in the dick. Well, I just, I was just talking. Which was prohibited, was it not? Uh, I mean, you see, uh, talking to her was just so much fun, and I just. Uh, well, okay, time out. I can't believe I'm about to ask this, but Fumi, you're not gonna tell us you fell in love or something, are you? <laughs> that I... The cold-blooded king machine of the underworld would ever fall in love? That's... Well, Wait, it no way. It's, it's this... Love? According to the spirits... I happens to be a psychic reading for a certain famous CEO once. And that guy was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. In your eyes just now, I saw the same look in his eyes. Oh, oh shut up. She's not a mannequin. She's an angel. I feel as if... <laughs> I feel as if I don't prefer telling my, in my me angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. Uh, yep, you're totally in love. Uh, so how did things end up like this? Huh. Well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. <laughs> oh, Fumi. Fumi, top husbando. But... And I was poking around at her settings and stuff and saw she was a well-designed program. And it was like, how can I say, it was the first time I, I was ever able to talk like that with a normal girl. But she's definitely not a normal girl. Even when all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff, she wasn't annoyed or disgusted or anything. Your stories are so interesting, Hifumi. Oh, he's really sad and pathetic. Come on, t come on, tell me more. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I That's the first time a girl's ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's like, kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> That's why I was just so happy. It was so much fun. Before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... Even the, even the keyboard? <sighs> I think you have misunderstood the situation, Hifumi. Okay Alter Ego was not interested in who you were. It was interested in what you knew. It is in artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course, it wanted to hear of things it did not know. You are an expert in many things the hero could not have taught it about. It for what it is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information. That is all. I know that. I know. I, I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying it's totally hopeless? Uh, you gotta be freaking kidding me. That's gotta be Taka. F you. F you. Hey, you jerks. I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on about whatever. Yo. Oh, Taka, are you back? Who the hell's Tacker? Huh? Uh, you? Listen up, I'm me, got it? What the hell? Uh, you're who? What? Don't bullcrap me, isn't it obvious? I'm Kyo Tacker and Mondo, so like, Kiondo, I guess. I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. <laughs> He's like a shitty Mondo. What the heck kind of fusion is this? Uh, dude, why? What happened to you, Tacker? Yeah, I, actually, uh, I told everyone what happened the day before. Well, then. Uh, so because of what Al Alter Ego said to him. Um, Are you sure Alter Ego's fault? Maybe Mondo's ghost showed up and possessed him. Uh, G ghost? No way, that's like, dude, that's like no shit thing. <laughs> what are you all whining about? Come on! What? God, you're really cheesing me off. Hey, Fumi! Yeah, yeah? I don't know what you're thinking, but... Bro belongs to me! Huh? Yeah. Alter Ego, he's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. And I'm not gonna let anyone else give, have him again, fudging idiot! <laughs> I love how he can't quite be Mondo. 
he's like a really shitty interpretation of Mondo. Uh, I'm afraid I can't allow that. What? I can't withdraw. Miss Ishimura, since I have this opportunity, let me say this right now. Destiny has bound me and her together in the Jordian knot of true love. Well, me and him have been melded together in the white hot heat of f friendship. Hey, come on, you guys. Moron, talk down to me and I'll ram my fist right into all four of your vital points. <laughs> <laughs> well, I punch at the speed of sound and I don't have any arm here, so there's no drag. <laughs> Knock it off, both of you. Hey. This doesn't belong to any one person. Jihiro left him to all of us. We can have... We can use him to finally gain access to vital clues. Mm. Kyoko's right. If anyone dares disturb our peace any further, they'll have to deal with me. Oh shit, Sakura's gonna go crazy. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Until Alter Ego is finished. Hey, let's shut them up. Until Alter Ego has finished his work, don't do anything weird. Have I made myself clear? So, I can hear you. I see. Yes. Yeah. Got it. So then. Okay then, let's get out of here. We can't afford to linger too long. Hey, are you sure it's okay to let them off of a warning? Indeed. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. She's gonna put a dick trap on the laptop to snap Hifumi's dick off if he tries to go near it again. After watching Hifumi and Taka leave dejected, we all went back to uh, dejected. We all went back to our rooms. Free time again? Still morning, but because of everything that's happened, I'm tired already. Well, anyway, I just have to pull myself together. So what should I do with the rest of my do? Yo, I want to talk to Crazy Taco. Well, yeah, we'll go get some gifts. We'll save, we'll get a couple more gifts, and then we'll go talk to Crazy Taco. We saved up now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like a dick trap, like a cheese finger trap attached to a USB port. The classic dick USB trap. All right, let's get some more. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, we take a we'll take a we're gonna take a quick break. Um. And then we'll continue right after this.